stem cell manipulation is the key to life. They are already being sold to the most wealthy. There are two types of stem cells. Adult or tissue stem cells make cells in their own tissues. Blood stem cells make blood, muscle stem cells muscle, and so on. There is another type of stem cell, the embryonic stem cell. These cells are called pluripotent because as well as making copies of themselves, they can become any of the different types of cell that make up the human body. Patients that have diabetes end up having damage to their blood vessels. That damage affects the retina, uh, often first and foremost. And so basically diabetic retinopathy is looking at the back of the eye and seeing the damage that's been done to the blood vessel. The reality is, is that by using the patient's own cells, stem cells, to actually replace some of the missing cells in the back of the eye, that we may be able to not only prevent further vision loss, but actually uh, rebuild and reconstruct some of the uh, retinal blood vessels that have been lost due to the damage from the diabetes. Cells from living Parkinson patients, skin cells say, drive them back to stem cells with new technologies and then forward to those very same cells that die in Parkinson's. Once we've done this, we will have for the first time the opportunity to study disease mechanisms in a culture dish a way we never could before. Stem therapy is a same-day stem cell procedure that allows isolation, concentration, and activation of your pet's own stem cells. To date, over 10,000 pets have been treated with ActiStem across the world. The animal is prepared for surgery, where the certified veterinarian removes two to four tablespoons of the patient's fat. This fat is processed utilizing a university-validated method and equipment designed specifically for the Medivet Biologics ActiStem process. Once the cells are processed and concentrated, they are activated with components from the patient's blood and light, then ready to be given into areas of need. Shinya Yamanaka had made a new type of pluripotent cell called induced pluripotent stem cells or IPS cells. He first made his discovery studying mice then quickly showed it also worked for human cells. This was an extraordinary discovery. Shinya Yamanaka had proven he could turn a skin cell backwards in time and then forwards into any other cell. Ethical concerns about embryonic stem cell research have been voiced by doctors, scientists, women's groups, and ethicists. In embryonic stem cell research, what makes the controversy so intense is that a nascent human being, that is an embryo at the one-week stage, is being destroyed for its body parts, if you will, its stem cells. It is to use nascent human life as a corn crop ripe for the harvest. Well, there are probably as many definitions of human life as there are scientists. But one thing I'm absolutely convinced of is that an embryo in a dish is not a human life. Should there be ethical restrictions involved in stem cell research? Or should science be unhindered by moral restraint? <laughs>